the name study and what Ella Kate means uh, right now. Ella Kate. So Ella, um, the literal meaning is beautiful. And um, uh, the spiritual connotation is sustained. And the verse for that is, um, I will put my angels uh, charge over you and they will keep you in all thy ways. And Kate means, um, the literal meaning has just passed by me, but the spiritual connotation is God's example. And the verse for that is, um, call on me and I will answer and do the great and mighty things which you do not know. Um, so in the hospital room, <clears throat> I was giving that um, prophetic name study over Ella, um, believing that God would sustain her and do things that we can imagine, um, and that she would be God's example of the miraculous. And so today I stand and I, I, I repeat that with that same thing, but also knowing that Ella Kate is going to grow into a woman who God, one, he is going to sustain her. Um, that is to affirm and uplift and, and comfort her and, and hold her, but that she is going to be a sustaining force um, for those around her and for the kingdom of God, that she will come alongside others and affirm them and sustain them in whatever um, area they need that. Um, and that she will be God's example of great and mighty things. Um, this morning when I was praying about that, um, you know, some, we know that this is a miraculous thing happening here, that this isn't, this, this is, this, she's a miracle. But I would, I just feel that there are some maybe that still kind of doubt a little bit that this is a supernatural miraculous thing because Ella Kate has been treated by doctors from day one and she's taking medicine and they're doing things to um, help her along the way. But I want to tell you that um, that day we dedicated Ella, I stood in the room and the doctor came in and said, the medicine we're giving her is just going to help. It's just prolonging the inevitable. Her body is going to start shutting down very soon. And um, then the doctor said, unless something divine takes place, because we still believe that God is ultimately in control. And we hung on to that, and that is exactly what is happening to Ella Kate. God is healing her. I don't know why he didn't just shrink the tumors instantly, but to God be the glory because he is healing her. And those tumors, right now the doctors can't see a change, but I believe that they are changing. And they're breaking down and dissolving inside that heart. And she's going to be God's example. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> I know God is our healer. And, and I stand here with a disease in my eyes that is taking my sight. And so you say, how can you, how can you be so sure that God is the healer? Because what I know, what is true is that I have an eye disease. What is true is that there are some tumors in Ella's heart. But the truth, capital T, is that Jesus says, by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. And I believe that, and I believe that for Ella. And so today, I hope that any doubt that you may have that this is a supernatural, miraculous work that God is doing, um, that that will change, and you will see that God is doing something great. Right. And she is going to be God's example. I believe that... Um, the healing power that is flowing in her body will flow out to others, and others will um, experience that as well because of the example that God. Uh, and, and here's the other thing God didn't put tumors in her heart to be an example, but God takes what the enemy does to try to destroy us and to cause um, us to be tripped up. He takes it and he turns it for his glory. Yes, and that's what we have here in front of us is, is Ella Kate, who is his example and his glory. And so to God be the glory that she is here with us today and will grow into a woman and will sustain others and be an example of God's miraculous people. Amen. Amen. Amen.